today to have as our special guest Alan and Marilyn Bergman and um, Marilyn's going to be speaking later on behalf of the movie Yentl. My name is Emmanuel Shriki and um, I am here today uh, but today is the first day of the screening series where we're screening Yentl. I'm here specifically talking about um, an organization I'm a part of called Raise Hope for Congo, which is about the em empowering the women of Congo. Enough, their organization is all about helping fight crimes against humanity. We're at the Cove premiere and this is Kat Kramer's films that changed the world. Had to have the Cove because, you know, a lot of movies say that they're making changes. This film really is changing the world. I'm so honored to have you here today, but what are you most looking forward to with the young activists that are going to be here this afternoon? Well, when we started the movie, I, I really wanted the movie to inspire a legion of activists to you know, confront ocean problems. I mean, to me, all the awards are the collateral of what happens on the way to trying to solve the issues, hopefully. Sunset Gower Studios here in Hollywood. Preparations are underway for the preview of a new documentary called Elephants and Man, A Litany of Tragedy. The red carpet event is tonight and is part of Kat Kramer's films that changed the world series. Say that just because it's better doesn't make it right. Just because the, the situation for the elephants now may be better, it's still not where they belong. At the zoo, yeah, yeah. because they elephants literally walk 100, you know, 10, 20, 40, 50, 100 miles a day. Yeah. And when you see an elephant in the zoo, they're really terribly troubled. They're suffering physically and mentally. They're nowhere near what you would see in the wild. This really is a world premiere to spread awareness about elephants in captivity, and um, I'm very proud to be having it tonight as the kickoff. Well, I think, you know, she's just tackling the most amazing things. Documentary film, when it gives you, you know, profound information is, a, is at least as good as the, as the best drama because it gives you something unbelievable and something that's true and something that can be heartwarming or heart-wrenching. We're together at the historic Sunset Hour Studios in Hollywood, which is the home for my screening series, Cat Kramer's Films That Changed the World. I look for films just like my father Stanley Kramer made movies with social issues and I'm, in my own small way I'm trying to carry on his legacy by having the screening series and I wanted to do something on the bullying crisis um, I mean you hear it's, it's out there every day and especially about homophobia and school violence. Uh, that's why I'm so glad that Kat, her film series, Kat Kramer's films that change the world um, this is the fourth in the series and we're having a screening on Sunday here in LA and it gets the word out. It The film becomes a tool to educate teachers and students. Besides the students, the teachers and the parents have to really look at these issues. Yeah, hopefully this film uh, is played in schools and PTA meetings and churches and etc. The ladies Lily Tomlin and Kat Kramer, uh, best of luck to you with your film. Thank you so much. And this film specifically is about homophobia, which is, I mean, it, it hits on bullying, but the homophobia is even more of a crisis. Was it emotional being the narrator, you know, doing this movie? Oh, yes, of course, I felt the obligation to be really, to, to do the best job I could. But I was also proud to be asked and to be a part of it. Bobby, no! Bobby! In fact, my fears were nothing compared to the fears and hopelessness that those young people who ended their lives must have felt. I'm just one person 
who's been through bullying. Many of you here have probably seen bullying. Um, and I'm thankful for something like this to come out so people can understand that we're all human. We all deserve respect. And we all deserve to be happy.